Half-Life 2 is one of those games where, while there's nothing inherently creepy about it, the atmosphere is just generally off-putting. But what if there was something to fear in Half-Life 2? Something deep in the game's code. A ghost in the machine. Without further ado, let's go over Half-Life 2's greatest mystery, the Interloper. October 5th, 2022. The first mention of the Interloper was uploaded onto YouTube. Interloper, Half-Life 2's greatest unsolved mystery. It had the following description, a mystery that has been unsolved for 16 years. We take a deep dive into the deepening rabbit hole of the Interlopers. Now just to make this easier on both myself and you guys as the viewers, I'm going to break down each scene and then move on to the next one. So in this first part we see the creator of the video showing us what we can assume is a screenshot from Half-Life 2 form, and in this screenshot, the creator of the thread asks about a weird umbrella graffiti that they found near spawn. We don't see much else of this thread, but according to the creator of the video, there were 34 other pages of discoveries and discussion on it. So in the second part, the creator spawns into Half-Life 2 and goes into this alley, to which they find this graffiti. They remark its similarity to the Umbrella Man graffiti, but the next part is where it gets interesting. As I said before, this is where things really start to get interesting. The creator goes into source and finds the umbrella graffiti. They pull it up, only to reveal that it seems partially corrupted. They go into the graffiti's text file, only to see this, what look like commands. And above them, we see a message, for JJ. Right now, we don't know who JJ is, but we'll revisit them in a little bit. Thank you. 
Don't worry if you're confused. I was too. Thankfully though, the creator explains to us what happened just there. Apparently, when those commands are run, a request is made to an unknown server which retrieves a demo to play for the player. If you don't know what a demo is, it's essentially a recording of all inputs that can be played back at any time. So naturally, the creator runs this command again, and again, and again, to see what different results they get. Mission begins in 30 seconds. In this part, we see the creator testing the console commands on different source games. This leads them to the realization that these commands are on all source games. In other words, something went out of their way to integrate these into the game. We'll get into what that something is in a little bit. But first, let's see this unique demo they discovered. So that was, uh, interesting. So let's break it down. What the hell happened? Well, this is something that investigators dubbed a Type 5 demo. There are three defining features of Type 5 demos. Number one, they have this VR light animation. And number two, they always feature the Umbrella Man, or some form of what I'll call sentience. So far, there have only been two other Type 5 demos that have been discovered, Spooky Coast and Misty. However, the creator goes on to discover yet another one which we'll analyze after looking into this current one. The demo starts with the player pushing Site B on Dust 2. However, despite them checking corners, we don't hear or see anything that would indicate that there are any other players. That is, until they look away and look back into the sky to see the Umbrella Man, which for ease of distinction, which trust me, we will need later, I'll call the Interlooper. So then, the player attempts to shoot at the interlooper, to which he disappears. Then, abruptly, the player flies into the air and is either frozen, 
or get stuck in the buildings. Now, initially, I didn't want to say that this was the inner looper doing this, but after rewatching it, I noticed something that certified it for me. He's watching. He brought the player up and watched them struggle to escape. This is the first time we've seen the inner looper actually interacting with the existing environment, but it certainly won't be the last. Wait, do you remember when I said there were three defining features of Type 5 demos? I never did say what the third one was. Here it is. Did you notice it? No? Let me boost the audio a little bit. How about now? That's right. Bells jingling. What significance does this have? Well, the inner looper only appears after this sound plays. It's as if he doesn't have any control until he plays that sound. I'll continue to point it out in future Type 5 demos, so let's see this next Type 5 demo. brings us to TF2, we're in the perspective of a scout who's looking at this A-posting heavy. After a bit, another heavy appears behind them, and then, as the bells cue, the A-posting heavy looks back at the scout. So there's not much in this demo that's groundbreaking. I've watched it back a hundred times and I've only come back with two things. Number one is the fact that the second heavy appears before the interloper's signature bell rings, so we can determine that those bells likely only relate to the interloper physically manifesting. Which leads me into my second piece. Where is the interloper after the bell rings? Well, I believe the interloper either took on the form of this heavy, or this is the interloper. It's hard to tell since there are so many artifacts and it's so dark, but I can just barely make out the shape of the interloper's umbrella here. Now I do admit this might be a stretch, but I still think it's worthwhile to consider. The creator continues to test these demos in an attempt to find more information about this interloper. However, at 6am, they're hit with a surprise. Suddenly, at 6am, the interlope commands stop working. They go over to the interloper graffiti, only to realize that it too is gone. So first of all, why did this happen? Why did the command stop working? I have two theories. Either the interloper has rules, and one of those is that past a certain time it will not respond, or the creator was digging too deep, and the interloper wanted to hide something. My other comment is on this part right here. These eyes that are next to the shack in the alley. I have good reason to believe that this isn't the interloper, considering both the fact that there were no bells, and we've never actually seen the interloper in game, only in demos. However, I would like to bring it up just because of the fact that glowing white eyes will be very significant in this next clip.
Yet again, a lot to unpack here, but I actually think this is the biggest lore dump we've seen yet. The creator of the video, Anamide, tells us that Spooky Coast, one of the missing Type 5 demos, has been found, and shows it to us. In it, we see this character walking towards a house, leaving behind their view model of the HEV suit carrying an SMG. This happened in previous Type 5 demos, but it has some significance this time. In the house, we see these civilian NPCs who are acting very strangely, and seem to have broken animations. The character continues to wander until they come across this civilian who, guess what, has glowing white eyes. I believe these eyes are an indication of possession by the interloper, as when this happens we hear his signature bells ring. After the character is pushed, they fall into this water to see six interlopers looming above them. Now I believe that these are not just possessed by one interloper, but each of these figures are their own interloper identity. More on that is revealed in later episodes. After the character falls into the water, we can see a split second of them being dragged into the abyss, just like in the CS Source demo. I would also like to point out some other miscellaneous things I saw mentioned. In the comments, some mentioned that the hands are different than what we see in the beginning, however this is simply due to a bug with the game. When an HEV suit is equipped, it changes something called C underscore hands, which is basically just your view model of your hands. However, when an effect like this is run in a VR simulation, it uses a different model for your hands, which is not changed when an HEV suit is equipped. But, something interesting does happen with the hands. Right here, we can see the character's hand, or specifically thumb, being broken. It's even accompanied by a bone-breaking sound. I spent a lot of time thinking about what this could mean, and I have a theory. In the graffiti, and in the render, the interloper holds his umbrella with his left hand, with his right hand at his side. The character's right hand was broken. Essentially, it's a warning to the character. I'll make you me. This is where the first episode ends, but after I finished it, something didn't seem right. Why was the interloper doing this? Hunting down these people and punishing them? I was left racking my brain, is it explained in other episodes? Did I miss it? Then I realized, I had been saying it this whole time without even knowing. Interloper. What is an interloper? An interloper is defined as a person who becomes involved in a place or situation where they are not wanted, or considered to not belong. An intruder. Then, it hit me like a train. The interloper, the umbrella man, he isn't the interloper. We're the interloper. This was clear from the moment Anamide started to enter the console commands. Interlope. It wasn't a command. It was stating our intent to the interloper. That we would interfere, discover things that didn't want us to. These Type 5 demos were a response, telling us to back off for fear that we may be next. Well, that was the video, guys. I hope you liked it. I started this video wanting to cover all of the episodes of the Interlooper, but I got five minutes into this one and realized, yeah, no, that's not happening. Um, but if you guys liked this video, like, comment, subscribe would be nice. I plan to do more videos on the Interlooper series if this one is received well, so yeah. Feel free to comment anything I missed or things about future episodes you'd like me to cover, and I'll do it in the next video. Also, if you enjoyed this video, watch Nomade's original videos on it. They're amazing and you just get back. Bye.